Hi guys, in this video I am going to tell you how you can solve the Lenovo IdeaPad 320 Windows 10 error which is attempting to recover installation undoing changes made to your computer. So as you guys can see this is my Lenovo IdeaPad 320 laptop in which an infinite loop is occurring which is attempting to recover installation undoing changes made to your computer and windows is not working normally so to solve this problem i am going to use my usb which is bootable so you have to also make your usb firstly bootable so that you can perform the exact same steps which i am going to perform in order to make my laptop windows 10 work normally so now i am going to plug in my bootable usb into my laptop as you guys can see that i have plugged in my usb into my lenovo idea pad 320 now what you have to do is constantly press the f12 boot key so you can enter the boot manager so as you can see i am constantly pressing down my lenovo idea pad 320 f12 key As you can see, after constantly pressing F12 boot key, I have entered the boot manager. Here you can see that my USB has been written by my laptop, which is Kingston Data Traveler 3.0. So now I will click on my laptop enter button. Now you guys can see it has started some process which will take some time. Now you guys can see my laptop has displayed a message which is it looks like you started an upgrade and booted from installation media. If you want to continue with the upgrade remove the media from your PC and click yes. If you want to perform a clean installation instead click no. So here you have to simply click on no. So after clicking on no you can see the windows setups Ask me to select language to install, time and currency format, keyboard or input method. So you can select the setting which you prefer. I am going to select the setting which I like. So after selecting all the settings, click on next. After that click on install now. As you can see the setup is starting. It will take some time so I am skipping the video. So now the windows setup ask me to accept the license terms so just click on the checkbox and then click on next after that click on custom install windows only advance so you have to click on this option which is the down one after that you have to select the partition so remember the partition which you selected previously when you installed windows 10 so that you can recover the data which was in the previous Windows 10. So you have to select that partition. So I am going to select the partition which I selected previously when I installed Windows 10. So that I can recover the data and use it again. As you guys can see that I have selected the partition. Now I will click on next. As I clicked on next you can see a window setup pop up small box in which is written if the partition you have chosen contains files from a previously windows installation these files and folders will be moved to a folder named windows.old you will be able to access windows.old but you will not be able to use your previous version of windows so guys this basically means that you all your previous data will move to a folder which will be named with windows.old where you can find all of the data you saved in your previous window so click on ok after clicking on ok you can see the windows installation has been started as well copying windows files has been started so it will took time so i will skip the video so you guys can see the windows is finishing up and windows needs to restart to continue so now it will restart my laptop
as you guys can see the laptop has been restarted so guys the same procedure will also happen with your laptop so you have to wait now it's your choice you can choose an operating system or let windows run on default one now windows will take again time to complete the installation so you have to wait so that is why i am skipping the video So as you guys can see now windows setup asks me to select a region. So you have to select the region after that click on next. After that select the keyboard layout and click on next. After that if you want to add a second keyboard layout it's your choice but I am skipping it. now i will connect to a network if you guys do not have the network connection then you can click on i do not have internet so now i will click on next now windows installation will take a long procedure to install windows so i am skipping the video as you can see now it asks let's add your account so i will create my account and then click on next now I will create my password and then click on next. Now I will choose privacy settings. You can choose the settings. After that you can give instant access to your Android phones, photos, text, notifications and more. But it's your choice. If you want to give, you can give. But I will click on next. After that, you can add a backup files with OneDrive. But I will click on next. Now guys, Windows will ready everything for you. And this is the last step and your Windows 10 will be installed. So guys, once again, I am skipping the video because it will take time. So guys, like this your Windows 10 will be installed and will start working normally again. So guys, hope so you liked my video. Comment, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Get information and knowledge and click on the notification bell on all to get the notification about my latest information and knowledge videos.